Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight's entry comes from President Trump's Department of Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. His latest target, George Washington. And no, this isn't some trivia-themed night terror. You are really awake. This is actually happening. Politico, citing three sources, reports that President Trump, while touring Mount Vernon with French President Emmanuel Macron last spring, said of Washington's Virginia estate, and I quote, if he was smart, he would have put his name on it. You got to put your name on stuff or no one remembers you. And I got to say, he has a point. I mean, really, who remembers George Washington? Am I right? I mean, he doesn't have a Broadway musical the president hates. Hamilton, he's got a musical. Washington, he's got what? He's got that monument in that city. What's it called? Uh, oh, yeah, Washington. Anyway, Washington's ratings are low. His wall is low. He's choking like a dog in the street. John Hancock, him, we remember. Am I right? I mean, he signed that, what you call it, the Declaration of Interdependence with a, a huge signature. I mean, that's branding. Washington, I'm drawing a blank. Let's just stipulate that when it comes to naming things, President Trump does indeed know what he's talking about. When it comes to great stakes, I've just raised the stakes. The Sharper Image is one of my favorite stores with fantastic products of all kinds. That's why I'm thrilled they agree with me. Trump stakes are the world's greatest stakes, and I mean that in every sense of the word. Are we wearing the same tie? I mean, who doesn't buy their stakes at the Sharper Image? I mean, am I right? <laughs> to be fair, it's not just, it's just, it's not just meat that the president knows how to brand. Gambling ventures, an airline, even a private yacht. The Trump name on, on each and every one of them, it's like gold. It's probably best not to dwell on how those actual ventures turned out financially. Let's just say they're in the file cabinet marked, very stable genius. Now, of course, there was also Trump University, though less of a university, more of a $25 million class action settlement. And sure, the Virginia countryside isn't quite Atlantic City, but Mount Vernon, it's got no pizzazz, no class. Washington's joint, that would be memorable. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a lot to process. I agree. How about a cocktail? We launched a vodka called Trump Vodka, and we're considering it, and I think it will be the finest vodka anywhere in the Where world. Where is it made? It's made, actually, in various parts of Europe. Ah, oh, yes. The old various parts of Europe vodka provenance. Ooh, I love to travel in various parts of Europe for vodka. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd love a Trump and tonic right now that may or may not have been distilled from a Slovakian canal. It's not just that... <laughs> I don't know why Slovakian canal makes me laugh. It's not just that, that dump Mount Vernon Washington should have renamed, renamed. By Trump logic, he also should have put his name on something, you know, the whole family could enjoy. My new game is Trump the Game. Trump the Game, where you deal for everything you've ever wanted to own. Because it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether you win. Yes! Yes! You got that, kids? If you lose, you're a loser. A loser. Now, maybe I shouldn't talk. After all, I do have my own game I'm marketing. It's called Anderson the Game. It's got dice, red wine, even a crocodile. It's kind of like Super Mario Brothers, except instead of hurdling toadstools, you gotta jump over Chris Cuomo while he does one-handed push-ups down the wrong way of an escalator. Try it. As for President Washington, I mean, his name, look, obviously will not be forgotten, thankfully, and barring an act of Congress or executive order signed by a giant Sharpie, Mount Vernon's name will remain Mount Vernon with nary a condo board in sight to remove its gilded letters from the ridiculous.